particular BA uh, pilot, Robert Brown, if people remember this, he battered his wife to death. Um, he's shown no remorse, um, uh, and his, the family of his wife, etc., are saying that if he's released from jail, he could do it all again. This is Robert Brown, uh, who killed uh, Joanna Simpson. Uh, Joanna's mother and best friend have led a high-profile campaign to block his automatic release from prison <coughs> after he served 13 years of a 26 year sentence now i didn't realize that he brown the killer has launched legal action against alex chalk the justice secretary and claims the minister's decision to stop his early release he's only done 13 years he's never said any uh, uttered a word of remorse and yet he wants to take action against alex chalk for saying no you're not getting out halfway through i mean Please tell yeah. me we don't pay for that, do we? Do we pay there's for a, that? There's a, there's a lot going on. We pay for it all, you know, one way or the other. That's the nature of our society, Tricia. But, yeah, it's an interesting case uh, and probably not for some of the reasons that some of the articles I've read uh, uh, have been raising. Uh, background, you're right. So it was manslaughter, not murder. Crucial. Right. Okay. Uh, a psychiatrist judged and the jury agreed. Juries who are not quick to agree with these types of defences, juries do not like to uh, agree to manslaughter on the basis of diminished responsibility. They'll usually just say, no, guilty of murder, especially in a domestic context. So there was something persuasive about the way in which that case was, you know, and I don't want to go beyond behind their verdict. However, <laughs> uh, you know, of course, understanding the family, family will never be satisfied with uh, with anything that involves the possibility of his release but the law says 26 years you do half it's 13 years uh the it's not quite as simple with respect i think as him suing alex chalk for example to take the the kind of vernacular at, at its extreme or the wording at, at its extreme alex chalk has used his powers uh, to refer this back to the parole board so that Brown doesn't get released automatically, then the legal test for them to consider is, does he, pr does he pose a significant risk of causing serious harm? And can that risk not be safely managed through the community, et cetera? Uh, right. You're right, though. There are reports that he hasn't engaged with psychiatrists. I don't know whether it's fair or accurate to say that he has no remorse, but the family do say that he was controlling and coercive in the relationship. What's quite fascinating is that this is a 2010-11 uh, a case. We know a lot more about controlling and coercive behaviour now. The law makes a lot more allowance for it. Didn't we have the Sally Challen case? Of course, the debt versus herd trials of the century, you know, they were peppered with that kind of language and, 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 and stuff that probably 15 years ago wasn't quite such a thing. Uh, but I think probably the conviction here, rather than the fact that it's gone back to the parole board, it's gone back to the parole board for political reasons. Alex, Alex Chalk, who was a criminal barrister, you'll remember, I know him well, I used to brief him when he was a junior, you know, the he's 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 doing what's required when a constituent somebody comes to him and says i want you to look at this he doesn't say he doesn't have the power to stop the release he can right. refer it to the parole board for a proper decision and then it's fought out my instinct is he probably will be released because he was convicted of manslaughter he was convicted of some uh, of an offense not of murder where the intent is kind of pure but uh, manslaughter where the the element of the mental element to the offense is somehow impaired by a mental condition now that was contested at the time the family not only contest the verdict they contest the way in which the prosecution brought the case saying not enough evidence from the divorce proceedings they were in about coercive or controlling behavior was brought to the jury but you can't relitigate that now you can't go back and say well let's have another trial of this guy in our constitution no double jeopardy you get off once that's that that's their lot and he didn't get off he was convicted of manslaughter and got a, a hefty sentence but i think okay. that is another story sorry go on I was going to say, you know, only because we've run out of time. So it's kind of watch this space. That's why I love talking with you, because you look at the headlines and you see something else. Talking to you, we realise there's a lot more going on. And 
for very different reasons. Both stories of the court case uh, involves mental health. Um, and I think it's a big one when it comes to law. So uh, we'll, I'm sure, have other stories along that uh, vein.